Da da Hello there, kids, and uh, welcome back to this amazing channel where, oh my god, we make animations for free. We, well, basically, we're free programs. And if you're new here, which I find this very annoying when people say, it, but don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Oh my god. Anyway, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, well, I don't know, I didn't expect a lot of people to subscribe to this, but they did. So, welcome. And if you're new, welcome. Uh, today, I'm gonna show you how to create your animatics inside Pixar. I already did that kind of tutorial, but I think I can do a better version of that. I'm not sure though. So let's see. This is Krita Kids. Uh, this is the default version of default version, default setup of Krita. So what you need to do is go to window, workspace, and then boom, storyboarding. Back in the days, a few months ago, basically, they used to name this setup animation. But now, because they're making changes, hopefully soon, um, they decided to rename this to storyboard so that's the only difference and also they add some other stuff but if you're using a small screen like me uh you're gonna remove a bunch of those because you're not gonna use them uh but if you're gonna use them obviously don't don't remove them anyway i'm not gonna use this hide it oh i cannot hide it i need to create a new uh document a new file so i'm gonna click here um and I'm gonna use these settings, these um, dimensions, or you can use the animation template, but don't use it. That's my advice. Don't use it. Just make a simple file, a simple canvas, and click, 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 click there we go, create, and it will pop up this. Now, don't get comfortable with this, or you can use this setup again. I don't like to uh, have this on site because I've tried to save space on my screen, and uh, the or over review thingy I don't use the palette. I mean, yeah, you we need the palette. So if I grab, if I if you click on the name and if you drag it and if you put it on here on the side, then I will grab my layers and I'm gonna put them here. So I'm gonna move like this. And obviously here are my tools. I'm gonna squish them like this. And the most important thing that we uh, almost forget is the animation timeline. I like to put it here on top. It's just the way I work. You don't have to do all of this, okay? But I that's how I do it. Anyway, we have our animation set up. Technically, now it's called storyboard. doesn't matter. Um, what you need to know first is never animate or draw on your background layer. Yes, Krita does work with uh, layers. And the way layers work is wh whichever layer is on the top will be visible and wh which uh, layer is on the bottom won't be visible. And layers, they are like, uh, think of them as a um, transparent um, paper, sheet of paper. Uh, I think they, they, there's a name, I, I cannot think of the name right now, but it's a um, transparent paper that you can draw and you can move your drawing on the paper and it's fun it's fun i guess i don't know but i have a background that the, the background layer here and that background layer is filled with white so we can see that if i hide my background layer technically i will see this this is like um, this is what a transparent layer looks like but i have nothing here so i'm gonna reveal my background layer again and i'm gonna create a new layer a new layer from here, this button, and you create a paint layer. You can double click on that and you can say animatic and hit enter. So far, so good. Um, by default, Krita does activate your brush. So now, if I make sure I'm on my layer that I want to draw and animate on, and if I draw this amazing, let me sign up. Wait a minute, and this is not my signature. Anyway, this. Is amazing scribble over right there and it's already on this layer and now i can draw whatever i like and if i don't like it i can click uh, hit control and z to do that so far so good now how to get into the animatics first of all obviously you might think okay so i'm, I'm gonna draw a ball here and then i'm gonna draw another ball and i'm gonna show you how you can do your animatic but this is not an animatic the animatic is showing 
the animatic is showing the emotion, the action. It's showing you the story. It's showing you what is happening on the screen. Very roughly, not perfectly, but very roughly, showing the the it's showing the direction of what is going to happen. And、um, this is just stupid. I don't want to do this. So I'm gonna bring a storyboard that I did.、Uh, if I find it, I think this is the storyboard. It will open another file. Now here's our main file that we have here. I'm gonna hit Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I don't want to do this. I'm going back to my image because this is an image, and this is my storyboard for this upcoming animation from the. Uh, I haven't watched recently、uh, their podcast.、Uh, it's dumb, but I, uh, I haven't watched. I think the last podcast I watched of these guys was when they had this guest, Lady Beard, a magnificent person, I have to say. But no, this is again from their podcast, the Trust Taste People.、Uh, but this is not yet animated. This is my storyboard, right? This is what's gonna happen, and we read from left to right because that's how I read.、Uh, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm gonna animate. I want to animate this scene, this particular scene, and I did a second drawing of the same scene because I want to show. The final.、Uh, I want to. Sh- I want to show what will happen. So obviously, with these lines, I I said that this coin over here. If I zoom in, this coin will pop up on the table, and they will be watching the coin. And after the coin drops, they will do this. So that's how we're gonna start our animatic. So what I want to do now, once I have my my storyboard, is as you see, there's one layer again here. So I'm gonna. Go and choose this selection tool, and I'm gonna select this picture over here. Now I have this selection around it. Hit the right button on your pen or on your mouse. Hit copy selection to a new layer. It will pop up a new layer. Now there is a third layer on top, which is the selection mask. How to deselect this? Because we don't need that. Go to selection, select actually, sorry, and then deselect. And then it will remove itself. So now here I have. If I go to this to the move tool, which is this little thingy, I can move. Yeah, yeah. So now how to move this to my other project over here? Well, hit the right button on the layer, copy that layer, come back here, and then doesn't matter which, which way,、uh, which layer you click, right button again, right button to paste that layer. And there we are. We have. Our selection. Now I have my、um, brush here selected, so I'm gonna hit the selection, not the selection, the transform tool, and I can move. I will zoom out、uh, with the middle button of the mouse, or you have a shortcut for that. And I want to expand this, so hit Shift and Alt on your keyboard, so you can expand this as much as you can. And maybe this one's okay. I don't know why it's so laggy.、I、have no idea. But once I'm happy with the position, I'm gonna hit enter. And the same thing goes for the other picture because I want to have the beginning and the end,、uh, and the end of my action. So I'm gonna go back to the、uh, main layer over here, the background. So I'm gonna hit again the selection tool. I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna come here. This is the new one. And I can adjust this. Now I want to see the the other picture, so I can still I'm on this layer, the 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 this picture over here. So I can I can lower that, and I can see the previous one. So I'm gonna rearrange this based on the table as much as I can, as much as I can. It's not quite there yet, isn't it? Oh wait, it's a smaller. Okay. Now I know it's a, it's quite messy right now, but don't worry about it. So I'm gonna hide this, and I'm gonna make this layer also to have a lower opacity. And from here, I can start making my animatic. So what I need to do is obviously to consider if there is any background that I'm gonna work with. The background in my case will be this table here. And yes, I do have three characters, but I'm gonna do them separately. So I can 
make a new well this is my elements right but i can make a new layer from here and i can double click on that and i can call this table and that table will be moving and i can go here and take this tool which is the line tool and i can draw very basic lines to just to indicate where the table will be uh they are the lines are affected by the pressure of the pen by the way uh you can uncheck this no yeah you can uncheck it based on your brush settings but i'm not gonna get into that anyway this is my amazing table and i can lock this table so i won't be drawing on the table and i can go to my animatics now remember every layer that is on the bottom will not be visible so i want to put my layer the animatics layer to be on top of my of this drawing and now i'm gonna go back to the brush and uh, i can either use the same color maybe this is not a good idea to change your color is from the squares over here um this is the selector color wheel fee um we can use maybe red i guess maybe uh, you can still use black actually let's just use i'm gonna switch it. let's just use black and uh now i have my animatics so how to do the animatics hallelujah we're here uh, as you notice we have our timeline so whatever layer you created from here that layer will appear here on your timeline if i move uh, down this yeah i will you will see how many um layers i have i have the animatics i have the table and i have the background obviously we're gonna animate on the animatics now no now um first is we need to create we need to indicate that this layer will be an animation layer so we need to create a keyframe every these little squares as you see here they're maybe they're rectangles i don't know are they i don't know uh so those little squares they represent one frame and in frame by frame animation the way we count the way we we um make our calculations is by uh, using frames in this case of uh, these frames now technically there's nothing inside these squares yet so if i go to the first one if i hit create a new frame over here i will have a new frame we zoom in if i let's say i want to animate this character over here i will try to get very basic shapes okay this is his head uh, this is the head this is the okay this is it this is the shape of my character so this is the first frame i'm gonna work with the next frame because it, yes it does show the same drawing but the moment the moment you come to another frame and when you hit new frame over here the previous frame is gone so how to get to see the previous frame because maybe based on that frame you want to make adjustments and whatever you can hit this light bulb and remember this light bulb appears only when you decide to create a new keyframe uh not a new keyframe but if for example on those previous layers we don't have light bulbs okay because they're not they have they have no anim uh, animation <laughs> they don't have um um frames on them the moment you create the moment you create your first new frame the, that is the moment when this particular layer that you create the frame becomes anima animation layer anyway now i can see my previous um drawing and based on that drawing i can start making the next drawing Now, the way the keyframes may work here is this frame that you see here, the first one, is visible for one to three frames. The next frame is visible for one until the end of this timeline. Usually, by default, your timeline will be will play. If I hit this button over here, you can see here the the start of your timeline, the start of your animation, and the end of your animation. By default, when you open Krita and you want to make animations, by default your end the end of your animation will be on the on the hundredth frame so if i hide the light bulb now and if i play this from this button over here this thing will happen 
uh, and it will, will play until the the uh, uh the hood frame over here and, and then it starts over again now let's create another frame because this is what is this and to be more flexible i can because i want uh, to you know to do to have this wash and stretch thingy so i can um copy this frame hit the right button and copy keyframe and here i can come and hit the right button again and paste the frame so now if i play this bloop, it will happen something like this and obviously this is not my my goal my goal was if i hide if i hide no, if i hide this my goal was to get to this i want the character to get to this position so obviously this frame that i have here if i go to animatics uh obviously put the uh the animation uh layer that you animating on the top so it will be the visible one and maybe this is not uh with a good opacity like lower this as well so now i can draw actually this position of the head so i can remove like i can create a new keyframe so the previous the whatever drawings you have on this keyframe they will disappear because it will uh is just a black keyframe and obviously this frame now here doesn't make sense so i'm gonna uh basically new keyframe i'm gonna uncheck this and remember as many keyframes you have the more smooth your animation will be which is not technically always right but you can always have your cheat ways to do so um you can use squash and stretch for that so now i can use this previous keyframe and i can oops i cannot do this i can squash it like this and i can come here and end my animation to the before frame so it will be faster what what i don't know if you can see this is this is the basic animatic you can do and obviously i want to do and i will add more details to the face but this is it this is how you make your animatic and obviously you, you can hide the the image behind this so you can hide and and reveal like this from the icon button over here and uh this is what we got and here's something that i record off camera which is pretty much the same thing i try to be more detailed and my camera is dying so that's a perfect way to say goodbye don't forget to subscribe i hate asking for this but let me know if this was helpful and i will see you in the next one hopefully with something better i guess i don't know i hope this was actually i think this is good you know what this is good uh and bye now